Douglas County Department of Corrections Inmate Orientation Video. Welcome to the Douglas County Department of Corrections. This program is an overview of the rules, regulations, and procedures you must follow. It will introduce you to programs designed to help you re-enter society upon release or participate in community corrections opportunities. While in our custody, you must treat all staff and inmates with respect. In return, you will be treated with fairness and respect. After watching this video, read your handbook. If there is anything you do not understand, ask a corrections officer. Tablets. The Douglas County Department of Corrections has an inmate tablet system. Many of the services and requests that are mentioned throughout this orientation video are accessible on the tablets. This includes requests for reentry services, medical and mental health care, and library services. Communication with family members, attorneys, and others are available on the tablets as well. There are new functions being added to the tablets on a regular basis, so please review the options on the tablet to see the current services available. Admission Upon arrival, your clothing, personal property, and valuables will be stored, and you will be given an itemized receipt. Any money will be deposited into a financial account for your use. You will be issued a personal identification number, or PIN, and given a uniform. You will be given a wristband, which must be worn at all times. You may make one free local and one collect long-distance call. Staff will review your personal history and conduct medical and mental health screenings to determine your custody level. Your custody level will be reviewed 30 days after your initial classification and at least every 60 days thereafter. You will be issued linens, a bedroll, personal hygiene items, and a plastic storage container before you are escorted to your housing unit. Daily Life Every morning, your room must be cleaned. Make your bed, dust, sweep, mop the floor, and sanitize the sink and toilet. Only towels and washcloths may be hung from designated hooks. Do not cover or shade lights, vents, windows, and doors. Keep all areas free of graffiti. You must help clean common areas each day. You are expected to shower regularly and keep your hair clean. Personal hygiene items may be purchased through the commissary. Disruptive behavior, excessive noise, and loud, profane, or abusive language are prohibited. You will be charged the replacement cost for department property that you damage, deface, destroy, or abuse. See your handbook for prohibited activities and behavior. You are not permitted on the housing unit officer's podium or behind the officer's desk. You may not be in any restricted zone without a housing unit officer's permission. Smoking or using tobacco products is prohibited. When moving through the facility, walk on the right side of the hallway as directed by the escorting officer. Clasp your hands behind your back. Do not communicate with other inmates. All right, gentlemen, clear the area for emergency count. Emergency drills and counts will be conducted on a regular basis. Follow the directions of your housing unit officer and staff. During counts, show your wristband. Meals are provided three times each day and must be eaten in designated areas. During meals, wear uniforms, shoes, or shower shoes. Leftover food may not be kept in rooms, beds, or lockers. Trays, utensils, and food containers with leftovers will be returned to the kitchen. Special medical diets are only approved by medical staff. Special religious diets must be requested through the chaplain. Televisions in common areas are available after morning cleanup. Only housing unit officers may operate them. Outdoor recreation is provided one hour per day. Jail TV. Every housing unit has jail TV. Jail TV provides important announcements as well as updates to policies and procedures. Please read the information on Jail TV to ensure you have the most current information. Telephones. Telephones may be used upon request to a housing unit officer and as the housing unit schedule permits, except during counts, meal times, and lockdowns. Calls are limited to 15 minutes. Use your PIN number for all calls. Keep your PIN number confidential. Do not give it to another inmate. TTD, TTY phones for the deaf are available through the housing unit officer. Mail. The Douglas County Department of Corrections provides electronic mail service. 
Electronic mail services are a quick and efficient way for inmates to receive letters and photos electronically. Mail is available Monday through Saturday, excluding holidays. All regular inmate postal mail, postcards, letters, greeting cards, etc., will be scanned into the system and available to the individuals in DCDC to view their postal mail via tablets. Family and friends can send photos electronically through our current vendor's website. Money order, legal mail, and court documents will continue to be sent to the facility directly. Books, publications, and subscriptions are no longer accepted. Finances. All money in an inmate's possession at the time of his or her arrival will be deposited into his or her inmate account. Friends and family may deposit money in person on an inmate's account from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. seven days per week by visiting Corrections Public Teller Window located at 710 South 17th Street, Omaha, Nebraska, 68102. Funds accepted include cash, money orders, cashiers or certified checks drawn from banks within the local area and subject to verification. The following funds are not accepted. Foreign currency, personal checks. Inmates may use funds from their accounts to pay bonds, fines, and costs or other court-ordered fees, purchase commissary items and phone time, release money to a friend or family, must be on the inmate's visiting list one time during his or her incarceration. Any exceptions to this must be approved by the director or designee. Funds remaining on the inmate's account will be returned to the inmate upon their release, up to $25 in cash and the balance by check. Commissary An inmate commissary is available from which inmates can purchase approved items that are not furnished by the facility. Inmates are provided commissary menus and can order items via the inmate telephone system during the hours the phone system is available for their use. Non-prescription medications such as ibuprofen, aspirin, acetaminophen, antacids, multiple vitamins, and cough drops are available. Some items may be restricted from purchase due to dietary or other medical reasons. Indigent kits are available for those that meet the criteria. $60 worth of items may be purchased each week from the commissary using funds from your account. You are responsible for the accuracy of your order. All items must be stored in your storage bag. Inmates without money may request hygiene products, paper, and envelopes from the commissary. Gambling, borrowing, loaning, giving, trading, bartering, or selling items is prohibited. Visits. You are encouraged to visit with family and friends. Applications and scheduling are completed through our online visitation website. Only those on the inmate's approved visitors list with a valid ID may visit. Visitors under the age of 18 must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian whose name is on the inmate's approved visiting list. Legal guardianship must be pre-approved through the facility, and all other minors must have the original birth certificate provided during check-in. Attorney visits must be scheduled online through our visitation website. Face-to-face -face visits must be coordinated through the lobby staff. All personal visits are monitored. Refer to your handbook for more information about visitation guidelines. Medical needs. Emergency medical, dental, and mental health care is provided 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For emergency care, contact the housing unit officer. To receive non-emergency medical care, mental health needs, or dental services, complete a request form via tablet or through an inmate request form. List your specific symptoms and reasons for the request. Medical staff will schedule you for a sick call. Pregnancy management services are available upon request in compliance with current state laws. Medical staff distributes medication as prescribed. Stay in your room or on your bunk during medication call. Bring a cup of water to take medication and present your identification band to medical staff. You must take your medications in front of the staff. Palming, hiding, storing, Trading or selling medication is prohibited. You cannot have prescription medication without medical approval. Certain non-prescription medications may be purchased through the commissary. Any medication not in original packaging will be considered contraband and confiscated. Inmates found in possession of medication not in original packaging may be subject to disciplinary action. Never alter labels or share medications with other inmates. Immediately report lost 
or stolen medication to staff. Sexual abuse and harassment. The Douglas County Department of Corrections has a zero tolerance policy towards sexual abuse and sexual harassment. All cases of sexual abuse and harassment will be investigated and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Sexual abuse and assault is prohibited and will not be tolerated. All cases of sexual abuse and assault will be investigated and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Avoid an attack by following these guidelines. If pressured, report to a staff member immediately. Don't enter a room if you feel threatened. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't accept gifts from other inmates. If you are a victim of sexual abuse while in our custody, immediately contact a staff member, call the reporting hotline, or tell a friend or family member to contact the facility. To preserve evidence, do not shower, brush teeth, or change clothes. Mental health staff and outside services are available to help. For more about prevention, reporting, treatment, or counseling, read your handbook. You will not be retaliated against for reporting sexual abuse or sexual harassment. Reentry Services Resources are available to individuals who are preparing for release. Reentry specialists can assist individuals develop a reentry plan as well as arrange for services in the community, which may include, but not limited to, housing, substance use evaluations, substance use treatment, education, clothing, food, mental health, and medication. For assistance, use your tablet to submit a request. Therapeutic and Educational Programs DCDC has a variety of resources available to individuals who are seeking a way to improve their circumstances. Therapeutic communities have been established to provide a supportive environment that offers a variety of resources and services. The therapeutic communities offer a variety of classes, you must sign a participation contract and be willing to live in one of DCDC's therapeutic communities. Use your tablet to apply to therapeutic communities programs. Educational and vocational resources are also offered. GED and literacy classes are available as well as official GED testing. Individuals interested in GED need to submit a request to GED. Several vocational certification programs are also available. Individuals interested in vocational certifications need to submit a request on your tablet to vocational slash certification programs. You may earn money during incarceration as a trustee or porter. Eligible inmates will receive training before beginning work. To become a trustee, submit a request to the classification office. To become a porter, submit a request to the housing unit officer. See your handbook for requirements, standards, and job duties. Library and Legal To request library materials, submit a request to the library. Only one item per request is allowed. The library will send one book or magazine per day. You may check out four library books or magazines per week. Return all materials to the housing unit officer on or before the due date. Materials must be returned in the same condition as they are received. You will be charged the replacement costs of any damaged materials. Legal material is available on the tablets. All inmates have access to a database designed for legal research. If you need a legal form, submit a request to the law library for the type of form needed. The requested form will be delivered to your housing unit. Inmates who do not have access to tablets can request access to law books, which contain statutes, codes, and laws. If an inmate without tablet access needs access to specific case laws, the inmate can send a request to the law library asking for copies of the specific case laws. Notary services for legal documents are available by submitting a request to Notary Services. You will be charged for making copies of legal materials. No other fees, charges, or copayments apply. If you need your consulate, the housing unit officer can give you the telephone number. Rule Violations If you fail to follow the rules and regulations of this facility, you will face disciplinary charges and, in some cases, criminal prosecution. In the case of disciplinary charges, you are entitled to a disciplinary hearing. You will receive written notification of the hearing at least 24 hours in advance of the hearing date. 
a case management sergeant will convene the hearing committee and provide you with an opportunity to tell your side of the incident and present evidence. The hearing committee will render decisions and impose penalties for major misconduct violations. Carefully read your handbook for prohibited acts, charges, and potential sanctions. Penalties for rule violations may include a verbal warning, loss of privileges, restitution, lockdown, and or loss of good time. From this point forward, you are expected to know every rule without fail. Grievance Procedures Inmates with complaints regarding treatment, care, or living conditions may file a grievance. Speak with a housing unit officer or floor sergeant first. If the complaint cannot be resolved through the officer or sergeant, a grievance may be filed on the tablet. Only one complaint is allowed on each grievance. Inmates will not be subject to retaliation by writing a grievance. Community Corrections Community Corrections offers a variety of programs to eligible individuals, including work release, re-entry assistance program, and house arrest. Work release and house arrest are for sentenced individuals only. The re-entry assistance program is for both sentenced and pre-trial individuals. To be considered, send a request to the respective program using a tablet. Pre-trial release is for non-sentenced offenders. It is ordered in court by a judge during bond setting. If placed on pretrial release, you must contact pretrial release within 24 hours of your release, as instructed on the pretrial release instruction sheet given to you in court and upon your release. If GPS is ordered as a condition of your release, you will be released after the GPS unit has been fitted and placed. If you are court ordered, to 24-7 sobriety as a condition of pretrial release, you will need to appear for testing the day after your release from jail between 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Testing is located on the west side of the Criminal Justice Center. You will go up the steel stairs and press the intercom button. You will tell the person who answers the intercom that you are there for 24-7 testing. You were provided the rules of 24-7 sobriety during your bond setting. You will be provided the rules again at your first testing session. You will have the opportunity to ask additional questions at this time. Failure to enroll in the program or failure to attend testing may result in an arrest warrant. The rules of this facility have been designed for your safety and the safety of those who live and work here. Be respectful to staff and other inmates. To make the most of your stay, take advantage of education and work programs. If you cannot read, tell a staff member so he or she can explain the information in the inmate handbook. For questions regarding this video, your handbook, or any other matter, please ask a correction staff member for assistance.